what do architects need to know about graphic design, and what can architects learn from graphic designers? Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, in some ways, they're like, it's. Just, I've always envisioned it as kind of two parts of the same profession, right? It's just that kind of, it's just about making things. And if you follow modernism back, like at some point, if you just kind of, let's say you want to start at Bauhaus as a reference, those things are optimistically envisioned as becoming the same thing, or being kind of related. And, and so I think they can have the same, the same goals, but it's just that architects take on this this, this whole huge other part of, of kind of building and technology, and designers usually don't take that as their history, or kind of taught not to take that as their history. They kind of start from designers start from the presentation of stuff, and architects usually end almost or like slow down and kind of like come to coast at the presentation of stuff. So it's just that design is so concentrated in like that membrane of like the display technology or the book or the whatever um, as its primary discipline. And of course like it's not exactly true that that's all you do. Obviously you're involved in the structures and the way it communicates, but I'd say what architects can kind of learn from designers is, is maybe the kind of patience with the, the kind of organization of the of kind of visual, visual objects, like the trust that if they make them organized and clear in some way that that, that brings a beauty that's like it's impossible to justify with words. So it's also, something like that. It like, also seems like, well, two things. You know, that patience also requires like a certain level of time that that architects often don't build into their project schedule, right? Yeah. Where you know you work for so you're doing a competition, you'll work for months and months and months, and you work for like say it's a two month schedule, you'll work for fifty nine days, and then you you write it in, and you'll say okay, one day for layout, and and they never you know architects really never learn that. In the end, if you want it to look like something that's cohesive and coherent, then there's there's a longer timeline that comes with that. Yeah, I mean, it, what's really nice with a lot of collaborative projects with architects, I mean, especially maybe projects I've done together with um, C-Lab in the past, is that there is that um, the content is going to develop right until about 15 minutes before we send the book out. And so the design and design gestures have to like evolve concurrently, which is like if you ask a designer what's supposed to happen, they'll tell you, well, get me all the content and then give me about two weeks and then we'll talk again and then give me about another three weeks and then we'll like, send it out. So I'd almost say there's like a different type of discipline that's like emerges when you work with, um, with groups of people that are that both have like a lot of different ideas and those ideas start changing. It's not true that you can't make great design, but it but it's it's completely true that you can't work in the in the way traditional designers are used to working. 